Nope, I'm out. What? What'd you hear? I'm out. I'm out. What'd you hear? I have no idea, but I ain't going down there. That's for dead gum sure. Okay, yeah, yeah. Is this thing on? Breaking, breaking. Exeters, today we have scary shit ahead. Today, we are in Northport, Alabama, right outside Tuscaloosa, to bring you Old Bryce Hospital, otherwise known as Jemison Center. If you look up any of the scary things in Alabama, haunted, it is on, like, I, I want to say top 10 list. It might not be up there as number one, but it's close. And you'll see why behind me. Look at this that we walked up on. This is the kind of thing that makes your butthole hairs quiver. So we are inside Jemison Center. As you can see, this place has seen better days. Is that going Got an upstairs there. It's a freaky radio stations. You're not in down there. Oh, we Let's see. Again. That's like something's failed. We can't see it. Uh, I mean, I mean, it, it's my ear. <laughs> so it's actually, I guess you could say it's four floors since yes. it does have a basement. Here, you can get this other one out of here, too. That one, all right. That one, yeah. Yep. Yeah, there's still freaking water leaking. You see it dripping out of them pipes. Oh, God. That was the string on my sweater. I thought it was a spider on me. <laughs> I was about to leave y'all in here. Man, it's like this place, there's the friggin' water and condensation still coming through the bricks. That might be pee. Could be. There's an old mattress, or either that or a homeless thing. Definitely a bin of something. Oh, look, it's got a level that goes back like this. Oh. So it's bigger than what we thought. Definitely get cold spots.
Definitely don't want to come down here in flip flops. That's for sure. Yeah. It's all right. We're not allowed to see where we need to go. You're not a part of the poon patrol. <laughs> I guess. So this light had brand new batteries in it. And it was working. <laughs> Sam it just really went to turn just, it on and it's like. It was working earlier because I used it to look down there at the basement stairwell. It is nothing. Well, I'll just be damned. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. That's interesting. Put that back in your backpack. Or which one is it going? Look at out for a weapon. <laughs> well, that one's still got some of the tiles up. What's up with that hole? Mm. Mm. There's another bathroom uh, here. Is this a bathroom? Yeah, probably. Another stairwell. Yeah, because here's the other side of the bathroom. Yeah, definitely not going to do No. A major cold spot. This is one of the room with no windows. Huh? I wonder if this was like solitary confinement. This must have been the eating area because there's like a counter right here. Right. I made breath. it went down to the basement. Now oh, I just got wet again. Got wow. See if we can make it up. These steps is freaking angled too. Left or right? Let's go this way first. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Y. What is it? Not the X hill, but the Y hill. We saw in that video. Oh yeah. Michael Nichols is gay. <laughs> Micah, if you watch this video, we we never knew. <laughs> Sammy this is up. this is the exact same room that's below us. Yeah. 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 I remember that. That right there. I'm saying that must have been like the unit for the air. Yeah, after seeing this room, you can definitely tell every floor must be modeled exactly alike. All right, let's make our way down to the bottom. Stuff on. I think yep. you're going to slide on your booty down. That's what it looked like for real. This is like. Super steep. That is like uh, some. I ain't trying to break my neck. I mean, for that is like some slick freaking stairs, I'm too, man. They're like, yeah, they're, they're just. Pfft. That's what they were using mattresses for. Did you hear that? Is that your butt? That was not my butt. <laughs> My butt does all the squeak like that. On the bottom part. Well, look, these top ones are like this too. They go at an angle. I think the earth probably shifted, y'all. That's what happened. This is old. It shifted. I mean, I'm all down for going down there, but <laughs> a bug just flew up my nostril. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not trying to break a neck. Yeah, well, I'm saying I ain't trying to freaking kill myself to go down some angled steps. It is like super cold coming from down there too. Yeah. You gotta dip. See, it says it dip. <laughs> Wait, what are, are we sliding? What are we doing? I mean, I don't think you'd be able to. Can you brace yourself sliding? Please don't fall through. Do you see the breeze coming on my hair? Yeah. Yeah, I feel it in front of me. Coming from down here. Let me get, I'm just gonna, if I can make it to the bottom, I'm gonna look at these next steps. Cause that's. If you can make it. Yeah. That's a. Ooh. Nope. <laughs> it's, uh, got bad knees. <laughs> what it look like? Not the same. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? No. Nope, I'm out. What'd you hear? I'm out. I'm out. What'd you hear? I have no idea, but I ain't going down there. That's for dead gum sure. I can tell you that. Well, you don't even know what you heard. Well, I can tell you this either. There's something, yes, moving around down there. And I could hear like, uh, almost like something, eating. like something chewing on something. And there's definitely water. There's definitely either water running because it wasn't a drip, it was like, Somebody turned a faucet on low. That sounds like it's moving towards us. <laughs> like, not even joking. Man. I didn't hear anything. I think I were. Okay. Oh, well, you go on right on down there, Nian. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Ain't not nobody stopping Renee from going down there. Are, are we going up? What are we doing? No, I ain't heard anything. You literally did not hear that hear coming from what? down there? I mean, it sounds like water dripping. There is water dripping, but it's like a faucet is turned on low, not a drip, like from up here. See. And I could hear you something get... either walking, like on this, because of the rubble, or it was like a, like something eating on something. Here, you take the camera, you just go right on down there. I like how you're really quick to sacrifice me. <laughs> I'm just saying, you're the only one that's like, ooh. Turn on the light, see if it gets louder. Yeah. That's a lot more action. It sounds out. like dripping to me, though. <laughs> well, there's something that goes under here because at the bottom of these steps, when it turns to go down the mother steps, yeah, like there's an opening. There's, on there's an opening here. Are we going up these steps? Or are there some more steps that we can go up? I mean, there's steps on Both all sides. four corners. Are you going back down there? You look like you're intrigued again. You're like, ah, oh, maybe I didn't hear anything. <laughs> no, I definitely heard something. It's definitely freezing coming out from down there. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, in the story or whatever, the history on it, never mentioned a basement. See, that was way too close together. I mean, if you find a source of water, that'd be fantastic. Never to be seen again. Especially with up behind. <laughs> Hmm. Found the old, uh, well, that's not disturbing at all. All right, let's do anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I found the source of the water. It's in this open area. It's dripping pretty good. I told you. Debunker Renee. No, this knows it. that ain't what I was hearing. All you was hearing was the dripping of water. Sam and I was hearing something else. What is it? You're gonna die down here. Mm -hmm. That's all old electrical. See the kind do it look like a big vault. Oh, you should be thinking there's the other stairwell. Um, oh yeah, there's a lot of water down here. I told you. It's really not that dark down here. No, this was the room I was talking about. I couldn't tell where it went, but it's the old electrical. That's a big electrical box. I mean, it's a lot of freaking water. That ain't what we were hearing though. No, that's not what I heard. I mean, I heard the water dripping, but that's not. 
that's what not what I was hearing. There it is. I was wondering where you were. There's one added right next to it too. <laughs> Long and thin and short and fat. I mean fire caught. <laughs> All right, made it down here, now you gotta make it back up. All right, so to give you guys a little history on the old Bryce Hospital, which is what locals here call it. So in 1830, you had this dude named Robert Jemison Jr. He was like this dude that was like loaded with money, entrepreneur, like statesman, had like all kinds of properties. I think he owned like something like six plantations or something. All of the junk he owned totaled over. 10,000 acres. That's a lot. A lot. Homedude was rich. Yeah, he was loaded. That's a lot back then, too. So Jemison was one of the leaders who built support for the Alabama State uh, Mental, Health. Mental Health Institute, uh, which got the Bryce Hospital built back in, like, there's like one of his plantations or something. The Cherokee plantations, one of his six plantations that Homeboy owned because he was so loaded, got turned into this Jemison Center, which is now Old Bryce Hospital. Yeah, but the locals call it Old Bryce Hospital. But if you're going to find this place, though, you can't put in Old Bryce Hospital. Because it's going to take you to the University of Alabama. Yeah, because they rebuilt Bryce Hospital there. You actually have to put in what this place is actually called, which is the Jemison Center. Not Old Bryce. Old Bryce Hospital will not come up at all. You have to put in Jemison Center, otherwise you're chasing around trying to find it. All right, so basically the patients that stayed here, they would like come out here, they would make them like take care of the grounds, which is not all bad, you know, like patients need something to do with it and stay indoors all the time. Well, they figured that the work and the fresh air would help their mental state, help them, you know, get back on track, yeah, which... You need, you need that. You need... Which I, I... Some people, like, you know, that need decreased stimulation or whatever, maybe that would help. Yeah. You coming out here getting some but, fresh air and stuff. But after a while, you gotta kind of wonder, like, were they just getting... Free, free labor. I mean, especially if it was to the point to where you're keeping people here just so you'll have somebody to work the grounds. Like, oh, you could have been released a month ago, but we're going to keep but, telling you there's something wrong with you. But, no. Some people, and I have seen it, the families just get tired of taking care of them. They don't have nowhere else to go. I mean, well, other than the streets. So being somewhere like that, like this place then, before it became overcrowded, would have been better. True. But of course, like a lot of mental institutions, they become overcrowded because people just keep piling in here and you don't know what to do with them. Okay, so basically once this hospital became so overcrowded, I mean, it was... You, the, you can only staff so many people. Mm. So the staff was not adequately able to care for them. So you had feces covered toilets, urine soaked floors. You had patients that had been sedated that had not been bathed in days. There was one bathroom for over 100 male patients, one bathroom for over 75 female patients. That is just not something that is livable for these people that were here. So a lot of them were probably mistreated. I mean, obviously mistreated just from that. Mm -hmm. So awful things happened here. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Sound like some laughing, clapping. I sound like a door opening to me. Like, ee -ee. Okay, so this lawsuit happened basically. And at the time of this lawsuit, there was over 5,000 patients here. That's a lot because this place is not, I mean, it's three floors counting the basement. Yeah, three, maybe four. I think there's three on this side and four on that side. That's not a lot for 
this small a place because several of the rooms that we've already been in were not that big. Like two of you guys will see two of the uh, shower areas that literally only had like two showers in it. Yeah. And they were like no bigger than a walk-in closet. All right, so we chose to come in here during the day because you, as you can see, nature is taking this building back. Mm-hmm, it's growing up on the outside and falling down on the inside. But people often report hearing voices in here, feeling cold spots. They've seen shadow figures, they've seen Definitely the coat. Yeah, they've seen doctors' coattails swoosh across the, around the corner. And one of the creepy things swoosh? that you can yeah. still see is the patient's actual bed still under debris. Yep, right over here. So of course, like any abandoned, scary thing, you have people like us, and people that want to do worse to buildings come down here party. I can't tell you how many freaking seltzers, white claws we saw out front, basic white girl drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Coming down here to party and come and spray paint your name on the wall, I guess, because there's so many like blah blah was here all over the place. So, Crazy white yeah, girl. There's graffiti everywhere, so you might see some stuff you don't want to see. It's not our fault here at Exit 2 Adventure. We didn't spray paint it here. No, we just film it. Basic <laughs> white girls did. <laughs> pogo champs are, it, look, pogo it's champ. important to find out who your pogo champ is sometimes. <laughs> All right, we made it to one end. <laughs> creep to the next see what we find that's true look at this tiny little closet like what would you even put in there These short legs oh here's showers that beam, that beam has caught fire before. Did Wonder if somebody threw it through there. Okay. <laughs> I was like, cause I saw a bolt of lightning. <laughs> One of the showers. It literally only looks like it has two in here. Somebody set fire, they must've had a bonfire down here for that. The bad thing is that looks like a railroad beam. I mean, sometimes you just gotta steal a railroad beam and have a party in it. I guess, they show sure freaking burn it. You know? <laughs> the thing is, guys, we are probably trespassing majorly on property. We're not supposed to be. Ah, uh, I just got leaked on. Because this is gated off. Oh. <laughs> this is gated off, and it says police constantly patrol the area probably for the basic white girls out there having their white claws and spray painting on the walls that's a good possibility burning railroad wood all right so we made it big back country's to, been here we made it back to the main entrance there's the stairwell on my left I see you, Anna. I see you, Kylie. <laughs> so we had to walk about two tenths of a mile to get here from the gate. Hey, right, y'all want to go this way, or you want to go this way? We can go this end. All right, so we want to keep going in this direction over here. There's also stairs back there. Can't tell how. Yo, y'all heard that right. What was that?
mystery box this way. I wonder what's in the mystery box. I don't know, that's what that is. It's a glory hole. <laughs> oh, Billy. See? Oh, Billy. What a beautiful place to die. You say that? so. It's spray painted on the wall right there. You know, if you think about it, this place, for it to still be standing this decently, they built it pretty good. Yeah, because this was basically in 1871. This was a plantation known as Cherokee Place that the state of Alabama, their Board of Mental Health took over. So this has been standing for war longer than 1871. The things that have been seen inside these walls. And I just gotta know, like, why do people come down here so angry? Like this. Yeah. Why you, why you come down here so angry and spray paint that on the wall? Like, I'm sure the people, the patients that were here had more than enough reason to be angrier well, than you. Shane was not. <laughs> Shane, Shane was definitely was not angry. <laughs> Do what? So I thought I saw something go by, but I'm not gonna swear to it. No, I'm not either, because when we were coming this way, <laughs> when we like got to that little area and turned around, I thought, see something real quick but I was like no nah, I'm not gonna be like oh it was like a whitish color so I was like well, maybe it was just a you know from the sun <laughs> I mean but all joking aside like mental health patients hold a special place in my heart I'm not gonna lie I worked as a psych nurse for a year they are some of the misunderstood patients that are out there and a lot of nurses when they say you say hey I worked in a psych unit they're like oh my Gosh, but it's really not as bad as what you think. And these people are just, they just need help in a different kind of way. That's true. Well, it's not for everybody, but I mean, they still need somebody to care for them. Not somebody to sit there and beat on them and leave them laying in their filth. Like, sad to say, but like a lot of mental help people get because they get put in the wrong place but this must be the uh, oh maybe no the, the call men's, that number <laughs> the men's call showers it. you're like yo i just got your number <laughs> yeah. i just got your number off this bathroom wall what was that say ricky bobby oh my gosh <laughs> if you're not first you're last you was already here. I guess I was. I guess I asked her projected from my body inside the consistent river. Well, the Jeep's still there, so that's a good sign. Don't drink and drive, just smoke and fly. Exactly. That's sound advice. Somebody drew an alien on the wall. Hey, there's another one. He's got a jacked up body today. Oh, it goes down into the basement. This is like the roof of the basement I'm standing on. Oh, there's a spider web. Oh my gosh. One there. People are so vulgar. One there.
guys. So that's going to do it for us here at the uh, Jemison Center. As you see, we brought Sam with us this time. She had to get in on the action. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a little thumbs up. If you haven't done so, subscribe. And then ask yourself, why have you not just subscribed before? I mean, what have you been waiting on? <laughs> so do it if you haven't done it already. Also leave us a comment if you've ever been here, if you know of any other good places, uh, haunted places that we can go and check out, film, let us know in the comments. We'll catch you guys down the road at the next exit. Later.